Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of GTA 5. Again, I'm so excited to <laughs> record this. I love this game. I think because I am so comfortable playing it as I played so much online that I just, I feel that I am so confident and I don't feel as self-conscious as I normally do. I feel sort of in a way that I belong in playing this game. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just want you guys to know that I'm so, so happy every time that I go in and get started to record the story. I just love it so, so much. There's something I need to show you guys before we get started. A couple of you have mentioned the in-game audio. I don't think I had the in-game music up loud enough the first couple of episodes. I turn off the radio in the car because of the copyright music, but I sometimes when I go to the barber, for example, they have the radio playing in the background. So I then turn off the music, but then I get forgetful and forget to turn it back on. But I just want to show you the audio settings. So that's what I have it on now. My priority, right, is the dialogue. I want to hear the characters talking. That's my priority. So if I turn the dialogue up a little bit more and then uh, let's try that. I don't want the music blaring, blaring, blaring because even though the music is nice, my priority is the dialogue. So I'm going to give this a try, see how it goes. But yeah, I've got a few things I want to get done in this episode. So excited. So let's get started. Michael, where are you? There he is. Oh no, is he at like a wharf or a, or? Okay, I thought he was at a wharf and he would be very sad about his lost boat. We just won't talk about that, will we, Michael? No, no, no. So there are a couple of things I want to do today with Michael. I would like to hang out with Amanda, his wife because things aren't good in that department. Things are quite bad. And she did mention last time that she doesn't have a tennis partner anymore. I wonder why, but maybe we could actually play some tennis with her. So I'm just gonna head back home. I know that there's a mission at our home at the moment, which like there always seems to be a mission there. I'm not going the right way. I don't have the pinpoint on the map <laughs> because sure. I I sort of I know what direction our our boy's house is in. It's up it's up this way. Oh look at the moon! It's so pretty. That is so pretty. But I would like to head home and then actually see if I don't trigger this mission so that I could sleep and progress it to daytime. Okay, I can see the mission point over there. So I think I'll just ignore that. Ideally, I would like to get into the house without triggering that mission and then I can go upstairs and sleep to progress the time because we don't want to be playing tennis in the in the night oh good i can actually go into my bedroom all right let's progress it to morning nice we've done that look i do just want to take off his glasses though because i like to see michael's eyes I want to see his eyes, but I'm happy with that. And now we are going to go on a hangout with Amanda. I nearly oh. done. Michael! Yes? What's wrong? <laughs> if you want to know where I am, you can check your credit card statement. Hey, I'm feeling lucky. I checked the hospital. Oh, no. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> I feel really, I feel terrible. All right, let's see if we can fix this relationship. So let's go on a hangout with Amanda. This is Amanda. Oh. Unfortunately, 
I can't come to the phone right now. Namaste. Well... Okay, so friends will not always be available to hang out when you call. They may have things to do or they could even be asleep. Well, we know she's not asleep. She's not asleep. In that case, what I would like to do first is go and see our good doctor. Because I would, I definitely want to do all of these missions or encounters with our, with our shrink. Even though I don't like him and I don't think that he cares about Michael at all. But... You know what at this stage I would just think that Michael should just go and talk to Franklin this is a really nice car what what is oh it's an obey tailgater okay so that is I believe similar to an Audi so Michael has a lovely little black Audi here with a few scratches down that side in particular we won't look at that side, <laughs> we'll just look at the other side. It is not a very nice day, it's quite cloudy, but it does give me the feeling of a beautiful, hazy summer's day. I'm really looking forward to summer again. I, I, don't, I don't do winter well, even though it doesn't get very cold here, I don't cope. Okay, let's go. Our shrink. Oh, chaos. Come in, Michael. Chaos. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Mm. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I... I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Mm. Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. <laughs> I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode you know actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes I, I pulled this mexican's house right off the fucking hill i mean i i think i'm back in it doc i'm back into life i mean i gotta make some money and there's only a couple ways i know how to do it mm -hmm. you feel the need to explain your decisions michael take responsibility so any other violent urges friend <laughs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Actually makes sense. Oh my gosh, you can reject advice or accept the advice. Thoughts? I actually think that he has given good advice in this state. In the I really just want to be happy. Doc. Oh no, I was too slow. Not so bad. Okay. <laughs> and what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really oh. good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Quite. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. <laughs> you know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. <laughs> Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. 
I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. Mm. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're mm. very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this I think, no, no, I know that <laughs> I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. Get lost. I want to listen to that. See <sighs> you. Next time. Come on. That sucks. Okay. Oh, I was so invested in that. Please. You're an idiot. I loved that so much. That cost me $500. Oh, no. I don't even have much money. Guys, I was so invested in that conversation. And then Michael said that he was having a breakthrough and he was terrified that we didn't get the rest of that. That is so frustrating. And now I know that I have to be more quicker with my decisions, whether I accept or reject the advice. I was going to accept the advice because it was actually quite good. I don't expect much out of these sessions from this doctor, but this has gone so much better than I thought it would. We're actually getting a beautiful, beautiful insight into Michael's mind and the way he thinks. And I'm just, I, I love him even more now. I, I want to see him happy. But geez, Michael, there's more for you than just having a price on your head and a gun in your hand. I, I really do think so. I'm going to see if we can hang out with Amanda now. This is Amanda. Man, why? Like, what time is she available? It is um, 9.02. Maybe she's only available after a certain time. Amanda, oh. it's me. So, you want to try to reconnect? Sure. Come pick me up. Well, if for any reason you can't make it, let me know, okay? I'm on my way. Nice. Okay, so Amanda is only available after 9 a.m. So we know that now. I'm glad that I tried just that one more time because I do know that some characters, like for example from GTA 4, they weren't available at certain times as well. This is so good. So we've had a somewhat successful visit with the doctor and now we are going to have a little date with our wife where is she she must be up here i want to play tennis because she mentioned tennis and i just want to make her happy i don't i feel that tennis is not going to be very interesting to watch though but I want to make my wife happy, okay? Get out of the way. I have a date. Oh, she. I know where she is. She is at the shopping area. Oh, jeez. Could you, uh, like, just imagine being Amanda. I don't understand why she is so unhappy. There you are. Let's go. She has everything well, that you she wants. Well, well, Michael. Crazy as hell. Thank you. Whoa! Um. It's good to hang out, spend more time together, you know. Glad you think so. <laughs> but listen, Michael, I really need you to cut back on your drinking. It's starting to affect more than our sex life. I don't drink that much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Just on the days of the week that end with the letter Y. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, come on. We both know you've turned into a bitter fat slob who last year wet the bed. I want that bitter thin slob I married back. Yeah, so he can watch you bang the pool boy. 
I drink to dull the pain. Mm. <laughs> That's nice, dear. Really nice. Maybe this was not a good idea. I did think that we might be able to go on a hangout with our wife, reconnect, make things good again. But they're just like slinging insults at each other back and forth. Interestingly, we cannot use the tennis court at our house. So this is the activities that we have. We have drinking and tennis. Um, well, I'm not going to pick drinking because she doesn't she doesn't want that. We're just going to go play. We're going to we're going to play tennis. Michael says nothing. He's like, I have painful memories of tennis, lady. But yes, tennis, tennis, tennis it is. How do we get into the tennis area? Oh, there we go. Come on, Amanda. Tennis time. Get out. <laughs> this guy better not be here. All right, where are you? Tennis. <laughs> Welcome to tennis. <laughs> Give me a tennis match. Come on. All right. Let's go over how to swing your racket. Hi. All right. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I don't want to be too good, though. I don't want to upset her. Come on, what I'll try my best. Do? We're just going to do one set uh a set is played to six games one game three games five games one set what's one game i just want one game i want the shortest thing possible <laughs> one game that'll do i i don't Ours know this might be a marriage in name only but at least we still got tennis. <laughs> we'll always have tennis until I can't stand the sight of you. Oh, please. Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is cool. She's going to be even more angry now because we are a boss at this game. No wonder why she was getting so many tennis lessons. <laughs> yes, this is actually really cool. Wow. I like it. Whoa! So Thank you, coach. Nice. She didn't do too uh, bad then. Let's see if the old man still got it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, something's going on outside. Happening My out there. God, you're sad and desperate. <laughs> oh, Michael. Hey, don't all quiet on me, baby. It's not sex. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yes, this is good. We're doing so well. Yes. You really are desperate, aren't you? Yes. Oh, Michael, please! I love how much you focus when you play. Oh, well, that's something nice to say. He can be nice sometimes. I think that he's just giving well, back. At least I hope you learned gets. something. Yes! <laughs> nice. That is cool. I liked that. Nice one. Um, are we still on our date? Or... Where is it? Well, at least you won't kill me now. Why not? That was fun. You can drop me off or we could spend more time together. That actually sounds... Hi, darling. How are you, gorgeous? Sounds really nice. Look, I want to... Hey. I think I want to carry on with the date. It says return to Amanda, but my car. I don't have my car. I had to get my car. What did you think I was doing? I hey, watch it. Get out of the way, please. What? Crap. 
get in. You know what? I'm. I think that we may carry on and go for a little drink, and then, yeah, <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. We both know this is doomed. What is? This marriage is a joke. Oh. I'm laughing inside. That's sad. See, now I'm just depressed. <laughs> I just wanted a nice time with my wife. Unfortunately, I just think that they've been going on like this maybe for too long. And they haven't really tried to fix or salvage anything for a while. Let's go for a drink. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Even though she said no drinking, I wanna see what happens. Bahama Mamas. Are we hopefully we're not drunk now? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll tell you something, Michael Powley, to sell a dickhead. I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> yeah. Only when the liquor store's closed, you don't have a drinking problem, bitch. <laughs> and another thing, I never gave the pool boy a blowjob. What? Nothing. Fuck you. That's crazy. I will give him a blowjob. I will. Um, that's good. Really, really, really good marriage you've got here, Michael. Really good. It's been way too long. Really, good. really good marriage. Okay, let's. I think. I think we're gonna drop Amanda off. We've had a nice time. No! <laughs> I am so glad that the drunkenness doesn't keep going on and on and on like with Nico in GTA 4 this actually seems to go away very very quickly which I'm very happy about as that was annoying and it made me sick as well get out of the way can you not see oh there's a dog there's a little doggy <laughs> that's cute bye Amanda see ya here we are sweetie oh it's so nice to spend time together. That's actually nice. I liked that. I liked that very much. Here we are, sweetie. He says that was beautiful. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for being sweet in that. I, I loved that. And she wasn't too bad there in the end either. Look, I'm really happy with that date. It couldn't have gone better at all. Um, what's that? I think that's a thing for Franklin, isn't it? Do we actually even have anything for Franklin? Just want to check. Franklin's at the beach. Oh, he's exercising. Oh, that's cool. Look, as you guys can see, I've changed oh, his hair. Get in there. I changed his hair back, okay? I just like the default hair. I don't know. I like the default hair. Okay, Franklin, he doesn't have much to do. He has just that photographer guy. And I have a phone call to make to Tonya, uh, the tow truck lady. So I think we'll probably... I don't know. I don't know what to do, actually. Look, as we don't have much to do, I, I'm thinking that I may actually call up... What's her name? Tonya. And do the tow truck job. My brother from another crack mother. <laughs> What's going on now? JB. Niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Is he ever not AWOL? Exactly. He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. Mm. They're on to him. Leaving messages, 
saying he gonna get cut? You ain't gonna let a sister starve? Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. All right. More tow trucks. Okay, it's not too far away, so let's take this car and we won't say anything about it because it, it's not our fault our bike is not nearby that's the only reason hey this car what, what is this this is a coil voltic you know what it's so quiet is this an electric car i think that's an electric car you know what? This thing is actually really nice because it's quiet. I like that. I like that. All right. So I don't know what I don't know what is going to happen with Tonya. She and JB not good, <laughs> but they do have Franklin. He's taken good care of her while JB is out there doing whatever he's doing so at least Franklin is still around to look after her I don't think that Tonya is relationship material she's obviously with JB Franklin I think knows better than to do that all right let's go is she what up with you jump yeah where is she she's not here today cool we're doing this by herself i'm happy with that we got a car stalled on the train tracks at chunk street and leave island look out of here over yo yo i can handle that 10-4. Put the hammer down. Alright, so there's a train stalled on the train tracks. Well, this, um, not good because I'm guessing if we don't make it in time, I think the train is going to wipe out the person. If, hang on, hang on, hang on. There wouldn't be a person in there, would there? Because you'd have to be pretty silly to <laughs> when if your car gets stolen on the train tracks you gotta be pretty silly just to sit in the car okay that makes me feel better so if we're too slow or what there I cleared it <laughs> oh no there was a guy sitting in there are you joking Holy crap, that was close. What? Hang on. <laughs> Phew, I thought I was a goner there for a second. Could you I... drop me at the nearest repair shop? Sure, mate. I think I really stuffed up. That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the cross. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign oh. trash. I've told my wife a hundred times, but she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. It makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out, you know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dog. What's the hold up? This is the hold up. I've had an accident. Where are you going? <laughs> I've had an accident. This always happens. I need to push the truck. Oh my god! Off ah, the thing. Animals. Look, Did why does it? why does everything go wrong you for me? Why does it all go wrong? Hey, look out for fools like me. <laughs> yes. Get out of the way. No, you won't be messing me up. I'm busy. Dirtbag! 
What happened? <laughs> the tow truck is undrivable. <laughs> okay, we'll do that again. I'm going to try and do it properly this time by doing that. There we go. Professionals. What I don't understand is why this guy was sitting in the car when the train is coming. Am I glad you showed up? Any chance you could take me to a mechanic so I can get that death trap fixed? <laughs> Yes, sir. Like, why That's would- That's a bad place why? to break down. <laughs> I really have to honestly say that I enjoy doing the tow truck missions. I think that it's a legitimate way for Franklin to earn money. And I'm really proud of him because it's, you know, proper work. It's actual work. and. I, I don't think that Franklin is afraid of getting his hands dirty at all. He's not afraid of hard work. I love it! Where's the auto place? That's glass. Hang on, where? Oh, there! Okay, we're dropping it off at the glass place? All right, cool. Cool. Oh, shut up. Get out. Do I get any more thanks or praise? No? Okay, fine. If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You can tell JB I did his <laughs> work for him again. Yeah, again. I will, boo. Soon as he wakes up. Oh, so she must... Has she found him then? By the sounds of that? Pulling favours again. Um, I didn't do too well because I was too slow. But, whatever. <laughs> well, we don't really have that much to do. We don't really have much on the map for our dear boy Franklin. So, I don't know. I might just go back and chill out with Michael and spend some time with him, I think. We haven't actually done much. Thank you, Michael. Awkward as always. That is awkward as the sex. Oh. I really wouldn't remember. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Oh. Amanda, stop. So, what's up, Amanda? Very little is up, Michael. Almost everything is down. <laughs> How you doing, Amanda? Just trying to find some internal peace, Michael. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay, we're, I'm actually going to do something. This game, I love it, but I can just spend so much time doing nothing. Because I do love it so much that it's so easy just to get distracted and just have some fun times doing very little. So I hope that you guys are interested in a very, very long playthrough because it's going to take me a long time to get through this, honestly. Look, it's already night time. We have spent all day. What's the time? It's 7.30 at night. All we've done in this day is play tennis, get drunk, tow a car. I guess that's a pretty good day. Okay, we're going to go and clear off this mission that's on the map outside of Michael's house. So, what is this? What do we got? Daddy's little girl. What's his daughter's name again? Is it Tan? Yeah. Tracy. What are you doing? I used to love you, Tony. How dare you point that thing at me? 
Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the. Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves. Oh, he's drowning him out. Oh no. Jimmy! What the fuck you doing? Nothing? Really? Nothing. I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! Back a little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. <sighs> I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine. Let's go on a fucking bike ride. Oh no. <laughs> we'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. Oh no! <laughs> Look what we did to Look, this is probably going to be. A good thing, okay? Um, because Michael would have paid for that TV. He would have paid thousands and thousands for that TV, right? He's just going to have to pay for it again. He's going to have to buy another one. Oh, Michael. Like, that is exactly what he was talking to the shrink about. Exactly, exactly. He just loses it. He loses control. I don't blame him. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Uh, uh. Great. So the day you know, was going well. You're lucky to even be well. allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. <laughs> What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously. Some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. <laughs> they just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, mm. I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, mm. seen that happen before. Yeah, mm. well... That's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. That is actually really eye-opening because if that is the first time that Jimmy has seen his dad act in that way but Jimmy seems to very much resent resent that he doesn't seem to care that Michael was just doing that to protect him because yeah he probably would they maybe they would have killed him in that instance however 
Jimmy is right in this situation. A normal, normal person wouldn't have done that. that wouldn't have done what Michael had done. I mean, I certainly wouldn't. I mean, I don't have guns or anything like that. What would I do? I don't know. What would a normal person do? I don't know, but that's what Michael did. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of like force of habit. <laughs> Calm down. But now I feel so bad for Michael because he obviously just wants a normal life, a regular life. He wants to play ball with his son. Take your pick. He wants to. Yo, thanks. He wants to just spend time with him, you know? Um, let's go on this yellow one. It looks nice. I'm pretty sure. Hang on. I'm pretty sure that. But if you lose, you're going to do something with your life. He's like so far behind. I can't even hear him. He's terrible. <laughs> Actually, I should probably um, pace myself because we saw that when he ran out of stamina last time, his health wasn't doing too well. So I'm going to pace myself a little bit. I am very confused though because this mission is called Daddy's Little Girl and we have only seen Jimmy. I mean, what are, what are they trying to say? I don't know what they're trying to say here. Oh, I have a bell. So much, but I don't care. I have a bell. Now, let me think. What am I going to do with all that spare TV money? <laughs> oh, I love it. I think we'll be buying him the TV regardless. Michael is just... He's that type of guy that... He'll just buy the TV. He's not going to let his son suffer. But Jimmy, like, seriously, where are you? He's terrible. Like, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's so slow. <laughs> Th this is... Super easy. Get out of the way. Well, let's just go for it. Let's just let's just go for it as much as we can and really leave him in the dust. But I feel bad for him. I I want to buy him the new TV though. Ah. <laughs> Looks like you're buying your own TV. No. You know this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? Yes. You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. <laughs> ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? <laughs> because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Mm. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Mm. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? what? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know what? The, kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Oh, ah! Dad, Jimmy. Wait. Okay. Dad, oh. Oh, Michael, you are amazing. I love this. <laughs> this is so awesome. I do have I do happen to think that Jimmy did do this on purpose. I really think he did just to get the heat off him and back on to Tracy. But this is bad. If she's, if Tracy is really doing that, I mean, how old is she? For one, and two, Michael is gonna kill. He's gonna kill everyone on this boat. He's not gonna be happy. 
So now I get while well, it's called Daddy's Little Girl. All right. Unfortunately, I can hear uh, radio sounds in there. So we just have to turn off the music for now. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. <gasps> what? Your house? Yeah. What? Man, you got a killer pad. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. Wow. Right. Do you think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man. Hey. What are you doing? Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. I like this. What's the problem? You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the seat of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on. Now, I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Oh, wow. Okay, are we killing these guys? Shit, they're coming after us. Go into that outlet. Oh, this All thing. Right. All right. Okay. Hang on. Are we meant to be killing these guys? Oh. I do oh, have. My dad will like cap one of your asses. <laughs> we'll lose them if we keep going this way. Okay. Put Don't the kill them. These people. Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad. It's Los Santos. Mm. Just go, okay? Go. My dad's the one you want to kill. He's on the front of this thing. <laughs> wow. That's so nice. You're going to hit me, you psychos. I don't think they care at all. What are we meant to be doing? Should we? I don't know if we need to kill these guys. Uh oh. Um, I've run out of waterway. I've run out of waterway here. I think I did. You killed them! Oh my god, this isn't happening! What am I meant to do? Oh, we have to get back on? Okay. Well... Go to the shore. Well, now both our daughter and I'm our an son... I'm an accessory to murder! No, no you're not. Us. You're an accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I... I, like, did some blow? You did blow?! Get some blow, and that might like make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admitting anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. After you ruined my day, stole my friendship, capped them, and I'm the one on trial? They started it. And we wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't hung out with some creepy ass porno people and done blow. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know I did blow until I told you I did blow. So this to be like an increase in trust and honesty thing. And porno dudes are like the best dudes I could be with. Porno dudes? Really? Yeah, they actually respect women and treat us right. It's Los Santos, Dad. What do you expect when he moves here? Enough! This conversation is over. Keep <laughs> hiding your head in the clouds. The 50s are over. Even the 80s are over. See, that's the problem. Because they're not over in my head. Well, grow up! There he is! Jimmy, you gay <laughs> It's Jimmy! No! <laughs> you fucking asshole! Oh, yeah. he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cap. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Poor Michael. This sucks. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Michael. Oh no, faster than fish. I guess we're too slow. Once more. 
Master speed, 123%. That's actually pretty cool. <sighs> Michael, Michael, Michael. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel even even worse for him now. But we have a we have a new triathlon event, which is really cool. Is that with the lady that we saw that we ran with ages ago? I don't know, but that is cool. Wow! I I feel even worse for Michael now. I feel so terrible for him. I really do. His family, his home life is just... It's just terrible. I mean, his wife hates him. His children hate him. What is he to do? Do you remember that girl Stacy from the other night? She keeps texting I, I don't me. know what he should do. But you know what? Maybe my cheer him up is if we go on a ride on the roller coaster <laughs> i got to try michael you've had the worst day Yo, what's good, my <laughs> ah, if we put him on the roller coaster he may cheer up just slightly let's try hi yes we want a ride please the leviathan oh no Oh, we don't want to skip the ride. Can we change viewpoints? Okay, we're in first person. Here we go. <laughs> it is beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. I would never go on this thing. <laughs> Actually, I might go on it because there's no like upside down parts, I don't think. I think Michael is actually cheering with happiness. I wish I could see him. Actually, I would go on this thing. <laughs> I would go on that. I would go on that because it doesn't go upside down. Guys, I think I'm going to leave Michael alone for a bit. He needs some time to process what's happening with his life. It's just all going wrong. It's terrible. Things are bad. Things are not good. Every His whole family hates him. His family hates him. Oh my gosh, his daughter is hanging out with bad people. I swear, motherfucker, when I'm gonna bust your shit, I can't come go. Yeah, I swear, dumb bitch, dumb. Hey, chill out, nigga. What's happening? Hey, man, roll off while I get on y'all ass myself. What's happening out here? Oh, they wanted to start a fight. I don't think so. You know what? I should... Nah, I was gonna... I was gonna be naughty and... And get him, but... Um... Another turd chop? Oh, I gotta school your ass. <laughs> well, he's gotta go to the toilet. What do you expect, Franklin? <laughs> All right. Something I want to do before we finish is, look, I don't like this Beverly guy, the photographer, this, the paparazzo photographer, but, but we're going to go and see him because I want to do everything. So I think we're going to go do that and then we'll probably get ready to finish up. That's if I don't see any random missions along the way. Alright. This guy. Oh, I don't like this dude. Hello. Oh, hey! Hey, homie! Come here, come here! You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch is concerned. Ah! What? America's newest sweetheart. Man, she likes cotton candy and puff. <laughs> yeah, and getting in the bunghole. Wow. <laughs> no, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh, 
Hey, who says America you. is going to hell? Well, not me. I... <laughs> Come on, let's move. Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. We need to blend in ninja style. What are we doing? Follow my lead. Confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah, yeah me and you, we ain't gonna remember. stand out. At sir. all. My name is not Brad either. I can hear someone. Stay Let's close and play it cool. Like what do you want oh. to do? I'm at work. Just change this diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells like number two. It's a grandpa. That's what family do. Grandpa. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. Do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. Should we be sneaking? Or what? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of bungalow dress? No, was it bad? Like a crime scene. Andrea said it was another animal party. Come on, they should be just past this pool. Okay, well, there's nobody here. Wow, imagine owning all this and then, like, nobody even uses it. Here, you take the camera. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Oh, okay. There's something going... <laughs> there's something going on over there. Um, that's... that's nice. There's someone watching. Oh, oh shit! Security! <laughs> Uh, well, oh gosh, okay. Go, go, go. If that film let's go, off, let's go. Here loses their job. Get in, get in. Yes, yes. Am I driving? Uh, this guy's the driving. Show after us. Well, don't just sit there. Film that psycho slut. Okay. Damn. America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch. Film, okay. Yeah, I know. She's terrifying. It's perfect. I'll try to lose them. Have you got her in shot? I'm trying. It's not easy. Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk. <laughs> this is not easy. I was working on my quad, you idiot! <laughs> Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better. Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? Damn. That motherfucker's right on top of us, dog. Yeah. I'm taking a sharp right. Keep that camera on her! Shop right. Okay, I'm I'm trying real hard. This is not easy, Beverly. I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection. Hold on. Damn. You need your feet, man. Don't let me down. I'm trying. Yeah, fuck you too, man. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Is that camera even pointed at her? It's not easy. <laughs> Those two men are child molesters! Oh, stop! You better not be missing the action back there! Going left! Keep it steady! Yep. I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! <laughs> Is there, is this the only thing no! I, I, whoa, she crashed. Man, oh, wow. shit. I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Whoa. Eh, whatever, she's fine. We'll wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Whoa. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Wow. I wonder if she did die in that. Another illuminating experience, <laughs> homie. Hey, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, no. look, if you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't like that guy. I really don't like him. He's just slimy and creepy. I didn't do a quick dip. Oh, that's probably going in the pool, you know. Never mind. Well, you know what? We are looking like we're totally caught up. We don't have any more missions for Franklin. We've only got one mission for Michael. So we are actually doing really well, I think. Um, I don't know whether to... I am very tempted to go on a hangout with Michael, but as we've already done a hangout in this video, I probably won't do another one. Well, that guy, I'm not a fan, but I probably will keep on doing his missions. Um, he's very, 
I don't like him. Paparazzi people are not really the world's best of people, are they? But this episode has been really good. I know that we've only done one main mission, so I'm sorry about that, but there was a few other things that I wanted to do and see. I definitely want to go to all of the meetings with Michael and the psychiatrist. I found that fascinating and I'm really looking forward to more of that actually. That is going to be so so good. Well that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I am absolutely loving this game so much. Michael is definitely right now at the top of my list for my preferred characters. I think he's just lovely and I really hope that he is able to work things out with his family because they clearly hate him at the moment but hopefully they'll be able to sort of uh, sort all of that out as we go forward all right guys that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon bye